let's start with the, the vibrato. Um, it, it is really like a rocking chair, okay? I'm gonna try and show you that you're, you're not pushing or pulling, <clears throat> you're rolling, rolling back and forth on the pad of the finger, right? Because your finger is somewhat rounded. So you're just going up to the note and back down, up and back down. So I'm trying to get a good angle here where you can see I start with my middle finger because it's the very middle of the hand. It's the strongest part of the hand. I'm trying to get my thumb out of the way so you can see. Now I'm not pushing, pushing the first knuckle that you were asking about. That is also rolling, okay? Trying to find a good angle to show you this. Let me try a different finger. Is, is really the one doing most of the moving. This is, I, I wouldn't say it's locked, but it's straight. So if you think of it as the runner of a rocking chair, if my hand is kind of the curve, you're going back and forth over the surface area without pushing um, or collapsing for that matter. It's a rolling. So I liken it to like a meow, meow, meow like you're rolling around, say, this is a bad image, but rolling around a marble in your mouth. Okay, something like that that's very, like you're trying to feel the whole surface area of the finger. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I hope that this is coming across on the camera. Okay, so that was your, one of your questions about vibrato. And so no, no collapsing of the first knuckles and the, the rolling rocking motion. So if, if you can find a rocking chair, I would just sit there and, and look at it for a couple of minutes, absorb the image of the motion of the rocking chair and how it rolls back and forth uh, without having to use a lot of force, right? I mean, that's, that's the point is that it's not a forceful action whatsoever. Okay, so for part two, um, let's, let's use E flat sonata first, movement of Brahms for this, where you would um, be using the impulses for every eighth note in order to learn how to not only spin the sound, but also to figure out where to go under. So some people call these scoops. It's a depression of the Pernambuco, of the, the stick, of the wood, of the bow closer to the hair, okay, the Pernambuco is very elastic, as you can see, as is the hair. So that would look like this. Let's see. You can see the stick depressing, I, I think. Okay, so.
Okay, so um, the point of the exercise to do that in, in the bowing that you want for the real thing is to also show you the amount of bow you have available. And it's not that you can't vary the amount of bow. It, I probably am using pretty even amounts of bow right now. But it shows you how much you have to save. So the, the scoop that you're talking about, the, the repull scoop, is the dot of the first note, right? The first note, the E flat, is a uh, dotted quarter note. So where the scoop would be even deeper, where you would release the energy to go from a place of a longer note value, which is pivoting to moving notes, right? You go from a longer note value to a shorter series of notes. That's where we wanna do the repull. That's where we need perhaps a little extra uh, energy to transition. So that's like if you roll off the ball of your foot in order to get to your next step, okay? So there's a little bit of downwards vector as you go across the plumb line of your body, the midline of, midline of your body, but it's a uh, springy sort of step through the ball of the foot, which propels you to the next step. Um, the question is, can I show you this? So you're springing off here, the ball of your foot, and, and also your glute, by the way, not, not just the ball of your foot, but the glute, initiates and then you follow through by rolling in order to get to your next step. Okay, so you're being rolled across. So actually it's similar to the vibrato in that way. So for the repull here, see the vibrato in here, the vibrato is getting slightly faster. You know, it's like those molecules and atoms are spinning faster through the dot. Okay, so that's the extra impetus we need. Um, okay. And here's another one. Those long notes, the quarter notes, um, with the eighth notes on both sides are also important places to push off. 